استاد العلماء حضرت علامہ مولانا خلیل عبد الرحمن صاحب الحجازی فخر اہل سنت فی الہولینڈ اور یورپ حضرت علامہ مولانا شبیر دل محمد صاحب الحجازی نقیب محفل حضرت علامہ مولانا رعوف حیات محمد صاحب الحجازی حضرت علامہ مولانا حافظ غلام حیدر صاحب حضرت علامہ مولانا حافظ زبیر صدیقی صاحب مولانا سراج کلن صاحب اور حضرت صاحب رحمت اللہ علیہ کے خلفاء مائی ایلڈرز مائی برادرز السلام علیکم ورحمت اللہ وبرکاتہ I know that you are tired and that you have been sitting here since 11 o'clock in the morning, some of you. And the children are tired, you are tired, and we have come to that part of the Urs where inshallah al-Aziz zikr will be done. And inshallah, Pide Tariqat will lead us in zikr upstairs in the masjid after namaz asr But just before the Asr prayer, <clears throat> I would also like to register my presence here today and give to you my message on this blessed occasion. میری دعا ہے کہ اللہ تعالیٰ اس حاضری کو اپنی بارگاہ میں قبول و منظور فرمائے With lots of love and affection for our Prophet صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم I would like you to read درود upon him in such a way that all those people outside can come inside this hall by listening to your درود so I know that there's a lot of people outside, but I would like them to come inside by listening to your durood. So let us read with love and affection for our beloved Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Sallallahu Alaihi expect the ladies to read loudly because there are men here but I can expect the men to read loudly I hope that the men are not shy of their women so if you're not shy then I would like you to read with lots of love and together in one voice again Sallallahu Alaihi Sina 
All praises are for Allah who is our Lord and who gave us many, many blessings. We cannot count the amount of blessings which Allah has bestowed upon us. Allah has given me and you many, many blessings. We cannot count on a piece of paper the amount of blessings that He has bestowed upon you and me. Allah has bestowed many blessings upon us. But it is the Aqeedah of the Ahli Sunnah wal Jama'at that the biggest blessing that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has bestowed upon mankind is that He has given His beloved Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam to us. Everything else are blessings. But the biggest blessing that Allah has bestowed upon mankind is that He has sent His beloved Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam to us. Subhanallah. Remember, all the Anbiya Kiram from Hazrat Adam alayhi salam to the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam Jitne bhi Ambiyai Kiram te, however many Ambiyai Kiram came before the Prophet, they came with very special qualities. Each Prophet was different. Each Prophet had a quality. But the quality which our Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam had was matchless. Was matchless. It cannot be compared. And Allah gave an order in the Quran and confirmed the special blessings He gave to the Prophet. The Quran states, not me, not anybody else, but the Quran. The Quran states, But our oh, Prophet in your case, Allama kama lam takun ta'alam. Oh Prophet, in your case we taught you everything. The things that you can see and the things that people cannot see. We have taught you everything. When Allah is the teacher, what is the status of that student? Hazrat Allama Mawlana Khalil Abdul Rahman Sahib was here giving his speech. Imagine what he would feel like if his student was there. Can you imagine if the teacher is Allah and the student is Mustafa? Can you imagine? But I'm not going to talk about Allama Kamalam Takun Ta'alam because that is a separate topic. But I want to come on to the second part of the ayah. Beautiful ayah. 